Cleveland, Ohio. The atmosphere was electric at the stadium on Sunday, as the Cleveland Browns pulled off a stunning victory against the Baltimore Ravens, sealing a crucial 29-24 win. With only 59 seconds left on the clock, and the Browns up by five, the stage was set for a dramatic conclusion. Quarterback Jemias Winston had just thrown a game-winning touchdown pass to wide receiver Cedric Tillman, setting the scene for the defense to step up. As the Ravens took possession, linebacker Mohamed Diabate spoke for the defense when he said, you get the stop, you win. It was a mantra that resonated deeply with the team, one they had prepared for all week in practice. The final drive of the game saw the Browns' defense face a daunting challenge. Baltimore's dynamic quarterback Lamar Jackson was on the field, looking to orchestrate a last-minute comeback. Jackson is known for his ability to escape pressure and make plays happen, turning what could have been a straightforward possession into a nail-biting contest. The tension built as Jackson moved the Ravens from their own 30-yard line to the Browns' 24 showcasing his playmaking ability with several key completions. However, this time, the Browns' defense was ready. Star edge rusher Miles Garrett, who thrives in high-pressure situations, expressed his excitement, stating, It was electrifying. When the competition arises, you got to rise to it. The Browns' defense was determined to bend but not break. As the Ravens approached the end zone, the stakes heightened. Jackson's scrambling prowess kept the Browns on their toes, but each attempt to find an open receiver was met with tenacity from the defenders. On third down, a crucial deflection by cornerback Martin Emerson Jr. showcased the team's determination as he managed to tip a pass intended for Zay Flowers, denying the Ravens a clear shot at a touchdown. Emerson remarked, I looked up, I have three seconds, so finish the game. The ultimate test came on fourth down, with Jackson forced to improvise under relentless pressure from Garrett and fellow edge rusher Ogbo Okoronkwo. Despite being chased down, Jackson launched a desperate throw towards Flowers in the end zone. The result was a near miss, as safety Grant Delpit, in a position to make a game-sealing interception, couldn't bring in the catch. I dropped it, that's bad, Delpit said, but it hardly mattered, as the game clock hit zero. This dramatic final stand not only secured a much-needed victory for the Browns, but it also marked a significant turnaround for a defense that has faced scrutiny in recent weeks. They managed to stifle a potent Ravens offense that had dominated the league, averaging an impressive 461.4 yards per game leading into the matchup. With this win, the Browns not only snapped their five-game losing streak, but also regained a sense of confidence that had been lacking. As the game concluded, the celebration on the field was palpable. Players embraced, and the joy was evident as they reveled in their hard-fought win. Okoronkwo summarized the experience perfectly. I crawled off the field, but it felt amazing being here celebrating. This victory signifies more than just a win. It represents the resilience and grit of the Browns' defense. Delpit captured the mood when he said, I forgot what winning felt like, man. It's a great feeling. As the Browns look ahead, this performance sets the tone for the rest of their season. The mix of defensive determination and offensive prowess, highlighted by Winston's impressive debut performance as a starter, suggests that Cleveland is ready to challenge their opponents moving forward. The road may be tough, but after this electrifying finish, the Browns have shown they can rise to the occasion when it matters most. Stay subscribed for more videos.